Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. This will be my second attempt of making this video, and I just hope it doesn't shut itself off after two minutes. For this particular video, I am going to introduce six different characters, all of which are unique in their own right, and if you guys could bear with me, I'll introduce all of them for you. Just please bear with me. Here's the first character. Calthara. Called Calthara. Real name Tafora Calthun the second. Height 13 feet to 10,000 feet. Weight 465 pounds to unrevealed. Status hero and descendant of Hirikashix. Base futuristic dimension mobile. Intelligence three and a half brains. Behavior woeful, protective, and flirtatious. She always enjoys warfare. Lethality only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses she's easily carried away. Powers. She has similar powers as her ricochets, along with having plasma cannons for lower arms and is hard to kill. She also wields two plasma swords for her upper arms. Eyes bright green, hair deep blonde, and a double faux hawk. Origin. In the futuristic dimension, Tafora Calthun the second is a deadly warrior who learned that she was the descendant of Hirikashix, which explains her four arms. Soon, she got fused by Sight Blade with mass alteration, and after earning the name Calthara, went to battle a traveling cyber croc that was attacking the native Chicago. However, during the fight, the cyber croc ripped off her lower arms, and though she was bleeding out, Calthara had finally destroyed it. Eventually, Sight Blade revived her with a pair of plasma cannons and plasma swords, and since then, Calthara would do anything to destroy all evil, just as her cherished ancestor would. Costume. She wears a set of chrome armor. Team Solitary, or without the heroes. Original Inspiration, Heroes Duties, Sergeant Calhoun. Here's the next character. Lady Gun. Real name, Gabby Gun. Height, 6 feet 4 inches, weight 224 pounds. Status Hero, and ally and sister of dead beauty. Base, altered dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and merciless. She'll always care for her sister. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, being rivaled in thoughts of failure. Powers, she has acute senses, martial arts, high durability, and a strong healing factor. She also has a modified machine gun for a right arm. Eyes light brown, hair blackish brown and flowing. Origin. In the altered dimension, the native Becky Blood is a native known either as Gabby Gun or simply Lady Gun. Since the death of her older sister, Gabby would do anything to avenge her. By her mid twenties, Lady Gun barely survived an attack from a Mako Perth's and ended up with a modified machine gun for a right arm from the genius Madame Shear. Eventually, Gabby found that her long-dead sister was brought back to life as a zombie, making herself the older sister as well. Since then, Lady Gun and Dead Beauty would always try to keep each other alive. Costume. She wears a set of punk clothes. Team Solitary with Dead Beauty and other heroes. Original Inspiration, Cyborgs. Here's the next character. Madam Lovely. Real name, Lucy Neiman. Height, 250 feet. Weight, 15,000 tons. Status hero and ally of Galactica. Base, altered dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, loving, willful, and protective. She always enjoys her vanity. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, low awareness and misogyny. Powers. She has a huge size, great strength, 
uncanny persuasion skills, and is a good guesser. She's later capable of slowing down time. Eyes, bright blue. Hair, brownish black and wavy. Origin. In the altered dimension, Lucy Neiman was a college beauty who wanted to be more beautiful than before. One night, Lucy prayed to Goddess for that to come true, and by the next day, she expanded to a height of 250 feet. Giving herself the name Madam Lovely, Lucy went to battle Hyannis in Las Vegas. Though she almost lost the fight, Madam Lovely was saved when Galactica arrived to defeat Hyannis. From then on, Lucy would normally spend her time hanging out with her new ally Galactica, among other heroes. Costume? She dresses in casual clothes. Teams, solitary with Galactica and other heroes. Watch inspiration, adolescence, and titans. I am halfway there now, so I hope you guys could bear with me. Here's the next character. Taurus. Real name, none. Height, 8 feet 6 inches. Weight, 304 pounds. Status, hero, and warrior king of mythos. Base, mythos, Atlantic Ocean. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, tough, brutal, and determined. He still had a kind heart. Lethality, extremely dangerous to all who desire to harm mythos. Weaknesses, he's quick to lose temper. He's also colorblind. Powers, he has sharp horns, great strength and durability, is skilled with most weapons, and had an almost impenetrable hide. Eyes, light blue. Hair, black and scruffy. Origin. Taurus was once the warmongering Minotaur king of the island of Mythos. He was a brutal champion while growing up, and he used to think that he was unbeatable. One day, Taurus fell in love with a noble and wise sphinx named Fix, and they eventually became newlyweds. Eventually, Taurus found that Fix was the younger sister of the tyrant Chimera, and when she attacked their home, Taurus protected Fix and their newborn Centaura by trapping Chimera in a mountain on the opposite end of the island. Though he died from his wounds, he inspired Centaura to become a warrior in his memory. Costume. He's covered in black fur. Or teams. Solitary, controlled mythos, or other heroes. Original inspiration, Minotaur of Greek mythology. Here's the next character, a human character, you know. Zine Poo. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet 2 inches. Weight, 869 pounds. Status, human. An expert sumo wrestler. Base, Tokyo, Japan. Intelligence, 2 and a half brains. Behavior, rude and judgmental. He normally considers himself as one of the best fighters in the league. Lethality, do deadly to those who underestimate him. Weaknesses, he has no healing factor. Powers, he's skilled at sumo wrestling and has a great appetite. Eyes, dull blue, hair, black, and a short ponytail. Origin, Zingpu was known as the legendary champion of both sumo wrestling and eating contests. One day, Calorie arrived in his arena and Zingpu challenged her in a fight. Soon, Calorie and Zingpu had started their fight as Calorie tried to keep her cool. Eventually, Calorie morphed into a pile of flesh and basically KO'd Zinpu on the spot. Impressed of his first loss, Zinpu gave him his respects from that point onward. Nowadays, Zinpu would spend some time dating Bubby, the former cellmate of the crime lord Breakout, since the two of them basically clicked. Costume. He wears a large pair of boxers and normally wears a white overcoat for better attire. Team Solitary or with others. Original inspiration, sumo wrestlers. Here's the last character, I swear. Please bear with me. Victory. Real name, Violet Johnson. Height, 5 feet 11 inches. Weight, 156 pounds. Status, hero and expert boxer. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful and flirtatious. She always enjoys her destiny. Lethality, Extremely deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses. Cosmic forces. Being rivaled. And pride. Powers. She has unlimited strength, making her nearly impossible to kill. 
She also has uncanny reasoning skills, high agility, and tends to make others underestimate her. Eyes, greenish brown, hair, strawberry blonde, and wavy. Origin Violet Johnson was a high school graduate who always wanted to be a champion boxer. One day, Violet was visited by the mystical being known as the Jin, who granted her wish by fusing her with near unbeatable muscle power, though not physically amping her muscles. Eventually, Violet had successfully defeated a variety of opponents, including Muskra, General Carnage, Invincible, Vulnerable, Abs, and even the Commander. And due to her success, she earned the name Victory. However, when she made a fight against Beatdown, Victory found that she finally has a lifelong rival, though that never really bothered her. Costume. She wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team, solitary, or with other heroes. Original inspiration, Saitama. Well, I think this video actually lasted, and just to be sure, I hope you guys enjoyed those six characters, and I hope you liked the video. If you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. And just so you know, next week on Wednesday is my 26th birthday, which is the same as my dad's, as you guys would probably already know. And I hope it's a decent celebration. I hope it's a decent rest of the month for myself and everyone and such. Hope you guys have a fine rest of your time, and until next time, in transmission. Just bear with me, please.